A Jacksonville mom and pop tree trimming business is targeted by vandals and now there are thousands of dollars worth of damage. Never in a million years would have ever thought that something like this would have happened. Like never. And it's, it's, it's just terrible. The owners of Wicked Outdoors saying the company equipment truck and trailer were vandalized despite being kept at a secure location. Damage caused by that vandalism is putting a financial strain on the husband and wife owners. They are parents to five children. News for Jack's reporter Eric Avigny joining us now live to explain what happened and the impact on the family. Well, Kent, tree trimming vehicles and equipment that were securely stored behind this locked chain link fence were either damaged or destroyed by vandals. And the owners of that tree, uh, tree trimming company fear that the cost to either replace or repair those items could potentially put them out of business. You're looking at the end result of vandalism. Vandals either damaged or destroyed vehicles and equipment belonging to Devin Cox and her husband. The couple are owners of a small tree trimming business called Wicked Outdoors. They say they got a disturbing phone call about what happened, and when they pulled up, they discovered... Both doors are wide open, the windshield smashed up, the other window smashed up, everything we own literally out in a pile. Everything was vandalized, spray painted, you, you pretty much you name it, destroyed the inside, outside. They even pulled the hood up on our truck and poured all kinds of fluid in our radiator and our engines. The crime happened under the cloak of darkness while the tree trimming vehicles and equipment were left overnight inside the parking lot of Mount Hermon Exceptional Student Center. Devin and her husband were doing contract work for the school and they decided to keep everything there since the parking lot was fenced off and locked. Devin says destroying their property was one thing, but spray painting obscenities and gang signs on the truck is not a good look for their business. We work for the, the county school board, so every kid we come in contact sees it. So it, it's definitely like our life and our reputations on the line here. They cut lines all to our boom arm. The use of this equipment that is now damaged or destroyed is how they pay their bills, put food on the table, and financially support their five children. The youngest is only two years old. He's autistic and suffers from seizures that can land him in the hospital. His parents say they can't afford a hospital bill and repairing or replacing thousands of dollars worth of work equipment at the same time. We're at the point now, it's like you either fix it and recover or everything's going to fall apart. Now, their previous insurance company would have covered the damages, uh, but that insurance company pre uh, uh, recently left Florida. Uh, they signed with a new insurance company, but that insurance company they found out at the last minute does not cover vandalism. They started a GoFundMe page, and we have posted a, uh, a link to that GoFundMe page uh, on our website, newsforjacks.com. As for the person or people responsible, police have not yet been able to identify them. Reporting live, Eric Avignet, Channel 4, the local station.